Hi there, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to extract the consecutive Saturdays of a particular month. It's not only a Saturday, you can specify it can be of all Fridays of a particular month or all Saturday of a particular month. Let's get started. I have got the day here and I have taken days of the week. The days of the week I have taken here is 6. It specifies Saturday. By any chance, if you want to use Sunday, then give 7. If it is Monday, start with 1. Monday starts with 1 and ends with Sunday as a 7. At the next level, I have taken the weekday of ranging from Monday till Sunday with 1, 2, 3, 4 numbering. And now we are going to calculate the list of Saturday using a very specific formula. At the very first level, I want to identify the beginning of the month. In order to do this, I am taking the day and I am subtracting this day with the same day again. When I hit enter, this will go and sit on the last day of the previous month. You can see 30th April. But whereas I want the beginning of the month, so I am giving plus 1. When I hit enter, you can see we have gotten 1st of May. This is the formula which we are using for your reference. I have pasted it here. Now, along with this formula of plus 7, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this particular day into 7 days, which means once it has identified 1st of May, it has to add up another 7 days here. What will happen at the second level? Let me show you that. So we have gotten 8th of May. So when I just sent it down, you can see we have gotten here. Now, in order to see how the formula works in, use control and tilt symbol. Once you hit that, you can see it has taken C7 into 7, which means 1 into 7. And at this level, it has taken 2 into 7, which means 14 days, 21 days, 28 days. And that's how it goes on. Hit control tilt again to bring it back now. So the first part of this formula will get you the day. Now, I'm going to copy the first part of this formula because we will be using it now minus weekday in place of serial number paste this formula which we have used a7 minus day of a7 plus seven days incrementally we are giving minus the day of the week close the bracket and when you hit enter you will have second of me just send it down you are going to have the dates but how are you going to verify it falls in the same pattern? Now you can see 2nd of May falls on Saturday. The entire range you can look at it. So 2nd is a Saturday, 9 is a Saturday, 16 is a Saturday, 23, 30 and the list goes on with 6, 13 also. If at all you want to find out any other day, let's say we are interested in finding out Monday, then change the day of the week. When I change 1 here and hit enter, you can see Monday will start from 4th. You can see. And when I send it down, the entire range gets recalculated here. You can see 4, 11, 18, 25, then 1st of June, then 8th of June, then 15th of June. All Monday will come in. When you change it to 2, you can see everything gets changed to the Tuesday here. You can see 5, 12, this particular range 5, 12, 19 and 26 you can see. Uh, you can extract all Monday or all Tuesday or all Wednesday. From now on very confidently you can extract all the days of this particular month. I'm sure this video was informative and you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining. Stay tuned for more such videos. Good day.